still run the beam front end, and all the you know buggy classes are based off the chassis of a Volkswagen. All right, how about mini stocks? Mini stocks, let's just call it mini trucks. Runs a uh, regulation truck frame. Of course, you have, of course, all the safety equipment inside the suspension seats or fixed seats, window nets, and all that. We kind of touched on it earlier in a personal conversation. It's basically all like the old Class 7S. That's a good yeah. point. And I know there's a lot of 7Ss, you said, sitting out there. And, you know, it was the, you know, the entry-level racing for trucks. It's really what's so great about it. Okay, then we got Mini Stock, Mini Open. <coughs> mini Open, let's, let's go. They take a Mini Stock, cut off the front end and the rear end, build a tube chassis on it, and you can go there. Then it goes all the way up to some of the older Pro Lights where their full chassis builds. It may not be up to specs of the Pro Light class, and then you'll be restricted a little bit on the motor package. But, you know, run the single shocks and everything all the way around, just like the Mini Stocks. Same with the mini opens. And then we probably got the craziest looking front row I've seen in a long, long time in a short course race. What looks like a Pro 4 alongside what looks like a Pro Light. And it is a Pro Light and it is a Pro 4 to be exact. That's a Bryce Menzies old Pro 4, but of course not with the motor package. But it's of course. here it's an open V8. It's an open V8 because it is running the V8 as well as um, Vegas right next to him. You know, he's going to be uh, also that's an older Pro Light. But there's been a lot of rule changes over the years of the different motor packages, you know. A lot of these guys, and them with the Pro Lights, you could bring out the old four-cylinder ones, which I really used to love the Pro, Pro Lights when they were four-cylinders, guys. Well, here's our lineup of all the cars in the Open V8 Ultra 4. It's Kip Michaels in the 94, Aubrey Ward, Wardrip in a mini stock in the 99, Rob Orr in a mini stock in the 15, Jaden Wardrip in a mini stock 98. Another mini stock is David Smith in the 73. Anthony Cousy in the 36 mini stock. Mini open is Ryan Venegas in the 67. Class 11, Carice Vandemark in the 1102. Richard Boyer in the 1164. And Ryan Rodriguez in the 1191. So you can definitely hear the difference between the V8, the then four cut cylinders, that in half. <laughs> then a four cylinder. And then a horizontal opposing four-cylinder <laughs> of the Class 11s. Yeah, this is your smorgasbord of off-road racing right here. Oh, definitely. A lot of different classes we'll keep an eye on there. Open V8s out up front, of course. But uh, the mini stocks, I mean, I really love it because it's a sportsman, great sportsman class. You talk about a lot of the sportsmen in the Midwest with very similar mm. kind of truck setup, like the 7Ss they can refer to. You know, I had some of the guys tell me they blew a transmission, went to the junkyard, bought a transmission, back out running the next day. Oh, it, I mean, it, you find that in a lot of classes. I mean, back quite a few years ago at one of the races uh, back in the Midwest, Farmer John Conser, who was a retired farmer at the time, had his Class 8 slash Pro 2 <laughs> at the time. It was Class 8, uh, painted up to look like a cow, black and, black and white paint job, look like a cow. <laughs> He's in the same class as Walker Evans, who had the best of everything yeah. from Mopar. Best of everything. Probably five times the horsepower. It rained and rained and rained and rained and rained, and back then we didn't stop racing, no matter what the mud was like. Well, Farmer John went to Green Bay, Wisconsin, probably 20 miles away. Went to a store called Farm and Fleet, bought four tractor tires, <laughs> came back to the track, mounted them up, and beat Walker Evans. <laughs> no, and then it was later that off season. Walker and Phyllis took all the guys, the crew, Randy Anderson, all the guys out on a cruise. And they're all having a pool party one afternoon. All the guys showed up way early before Phyllis and Walker wearing their black and white cow swimming trunks. <laughs> they're all sitting around the pool and Walker and Phyllis walked up. <laughs> That's awesome. I just happened to have at the time that weekend of the race a black and white cow stuffed animal. Everybody was partying at the local bar in town, at the small little town. I zip tied that cow to the hood, the Mac hood ornament of the semi of Walkers. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. But anyways, <laughs> we got uh, class 11's Ryan Rodriguez out there in the orange and black machine, leading, followed by Richard Boyer and. Uh, Clarice Vandermark. Now this is this is a little, is this the same Boyer family that was is it Bakersfield? Yeah, uh, Julie and 
and all them. They do the hydration. Yeah, the yeah. Yeah. Is that the same Boyer family? That's a boy. They have they race everything. Sixteen hundred specialists. I think they there for quite a while, man. Oh, yeah. They really had to figure it figured out. And we're looking here at uh, Ryan Venegas uh, in the mini open, and then Anthony Anthony Chusey in the mini stocks leading out there with David Smith and Jade Wardrip, Rob Orr, Audrey Wardrip, and of course uh, Kit Michaels out front running away with this in his uh, open V8. Boy, watching these. Uh Mini stocks really takes me back. This is this was Johnny Greaves' first truck class. I kid you not. Mini stock slash 7S. Yeah. Jeff Kincaid, for that matter, too. And it's funny how a lot of those classes that came from, they used them, they came from desert. Like class 8, like you referred to. Heavy metal used to be the desert class of Walker and all them. And then, of course, the 7S. Still to this day, they run 7S in the desert. Mm -hmm. But... They make great short course cars, and that's what's showing the Mini Open. I know there's a lot more of them out there. You know, in the days of going to the junkyard at the last minute, freak out mode, you know, yeah. oh my God, what am I going to do? Oh my God, let's go to the junkyard and see what they got. My sister fell in line with that. She had, she was running a Pro 2 slash Class 8, blew the motor, and she was Ford factory back to the time. They couldn't do nothing to help her out last minute kind of thing. They went to the junkyard found what they needed that would fit the transmission that they had there was zero compression you could spin that flywheel by hand <laughs> it was just going around hooked it up it started it sounded like a john deere tractor blowing smoke out the breathers she went out and won the race of the next day whatever that stuff you used to pour into your motor and it would like reseed your sink yeah we called it mother's milk or something yeah, yeah, yeah. i remember guys doing that with old motors I think it was Mother's Milk, actually. Right. <laughs> yeah. So Ryan Rodriguez still hangs out of the top spot in Class 11 with Boyer and Vandemark. Running second and third in that class. Mini Open, Ryan Venegas has still uh, got the top spot. And Anthony... Cousy? Choosy. Choosy. Anthony Choosy has got the top spot when it comes to the mini stocks in that 36. And I don't care what class you're running in. Whether it's open wheel, whether it's truck, or whether it's class 11, when I see that number 36, I get choked up yeah, just a I little know. bit, man. I do too. I got to pound on my heart a little bit and uh, bring me back down. Well, we can see that uh, beautiful uh, Ford Ranger out there. You know, let's restack the field up here. Competition gosh, time to re rack and restack. Yeah, I just. Uh, yeah, that just uh, brought back some memories there. <laughs> yeah. And the wind's picking up just a little bit. Poof. Wow. All you got to do is walk four steps down out of here, and it's nice and warm. <laughs> that take me a half hour to get, well, no, half hour up. I tell you, these Class 11s uh, aren't just your typical normal little Volkswagen bug, I can tell you right oh, now. Oh, no. These things are full-on race machines. I really love to see more of these out there. In fact, I would love to be out there in one. I'm kind of surprised there isn't more, right? Because I know there's a couple of sponsors, one in particular that's all, all excited about getting involved, getting some more of these cars out there. Well, I know MP's been, uh, you know, supplying some cars. And, you know, we had Blake Wilkie out here last time, a.k.a. Spicoli. <laughs> Shreddy. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, I really – I can see probably another – large group like we had up at King of the Hammers and what 30 plus cars up there yeah I think that's what kind of sparked the interest big time was King of the Hammers and I don't remember how many were out there but I want to say it was like 22 24 something like that I think it, it was insane <laughs> and it was run at night yeah uh, on a, on this short course set up there at King of the Hammers out in the middle of the lake bed and Baja Jerky was behind it I think they gave uh, was it 10,000 yep. to the winner winner and 10,000 10, to the winner. the winner, and the fans there went nuts. I was getting crazy responses uh, on the internet, on the off the website, the live stream. They uh, Baja Jerky sold out of, I guess, product out of two warehouses during the race. Yeah. 
because people from all over the country were buying beef jerky just because they sponsored the race. And I love so they're watching beer. this, man. Yeah. Look at that. It's good jerky. <laughs> oh, it, is. it really is, man. I, if my I, wife likes it, it's good. I, I must have had like 40 packs they gave me. <laughs> Lots yeah. of different flavors. In fact, next year, the what they what Chris really wants to do, I think he said they have eight different flavors at the time, and they want to put a different flavor for each car. Ooh. You know, paint it up to look like the package. Of course, they uh, won the Baja 1000 with Larry Rossler and uh, McMillan. That's a guy we need to get back to short course, Larry Rossler. I think it'd be awful hard to rip him away from desert. Yeah, you don't have to rip him away. He did both before. Yeah. Race motorcycles, race short course, he was racing desert. I love it. So Ryan Venegas is still uh, showing the way around in the mini open. Class 11 is Ryan Rodriguez still with the lead. Aubrey Wardrop in the mini stock. Yeah, it was Chris Voorhees, was it? That were, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. Used to be with the DA back in the day. With the DA, man. <laughs> You, know, you really can't tell in that backstretch going into that final turn that there's a slight dog leg. Yeah. Because the, the cars really, or the trucks really don't. It's like an optical illusion to us here. And then, but watching uh, Kit Michaels Pro 4 out there, that's the only way I could tell there's a dog leg, watching the body the, lean, the lean and the articulation of the of the chassis when it goes through that. Otherwise, I'd never known that there was that, nothing but a straightaway. Yeah, it's, it's just a little bit of a turn there and an off camber. Well, many stocks coming by there. You can see them getting mixed up with the uh, Class 11s. But look at this sick coverage that we're getting from the drones. Yeah. Is it? You think it's depressing to get passed by a drone when you're on the racetrack? <laughs> well, the drone does. And then it goes backwards, following. You know, yeah. you're, you're following it. You know. It's not exactly you can get up your true top speed in a short course like this. I always tell people a short course like Supercross, I mean, the bikes may do 100 miles an hour, but they never go over like 35. Yeah. Just looks faster when they're it's in a short section from 0 to 35 like in a blink of an eye. But the white flag is out with a half a lap remaining for Kit Michaels and the rest of the field. Juicy still out front with Smith and Orr in the mini stocks. See the 99 there, Aubrey Wardrip there fighting with one of the class 11s in her mini stock. Kid Michaels putting the hammer down. He's going to see the checkered flag. We're going to rotate that thing around. He just woke up, didn't he? <laughs> he just got faster on that last lap. It's like, all right, time to push the throttle all the way to the floor. And Kip Michaels crosses the line in his Pro 4, showing the way around. And John Stevens just checks in. New class, Ooh. short course drone racing. <laughs> <laughs> they already have that. <laughs> yeah, I tried watching that, and I couldn't keep up with it. It's actually on ESPN, yeah. too. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. Really drone racing. And it's like they're flying through these hoops. And I thought I was going to lose my cookies a couple times. If it follows the cheerleader competition. Yeah. <laughs> or the cornhole toss or thing. The cornhole, yeah. Oh, look at this athlete. David on Smith the crosses the line in the mini stock. All right. Anthony and Rob Orr right behind him in the 36 and 15. Well, I'm going to send Dave Arnold down to the podium. It feels like Groundhog Day. Yeah. Until you have 20-some horses and have to clean stalls, you don't know what Groundhog Day is. <laughs> <laughs> so
So as our last car crosses the line, Carice Vandemark. Once again, Dave Arnold's headed down to the podium as we get ready now for the top three interviews as well as our next race, race number six, Limited Buggy, coming up in just a moment. We are built on our core values, quality work that comes from the safety on our job sites. The teamwork that makes it happen from employees that are guided by integrity and making a commitment that we are proud of at Stronghold Engineering. Our values have been instrumental in our success and ability to build or facilitate anything imaginable. Stronghold Engineering, building construction excellence since 1991. UTV 96 is inside this car here for the race. Uh, we use the UTV 96 in this car. I'm using the uh, VP UTV 96 fuel. Thank you VP Racing Fuel for keeping me powered and getting me on top of the box. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get our class 11s up here. Paris uh, Vandermark, let's see Richard Boyer and uh, Ryan Rodriguez.
All right, here we go. I know they got uh, co-drivers over here. This is a little different. Here, so let's give it up, Carissa Vandermark, or Carrie, Richard Boyer, and of course, Ryan Rodriguez. Talk to Carrie up here, and uh, man, so great to see the resurgence of class 11. It's just great. I mean, it's been a desert class, but to see these on the shore course, it's just so cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Thanks for having us out here. Um, I want to thank my sponsors, Metalcraft, uh, The Almond Company, Chandler Automation, Mad Duck Brewing. Thank you so much, friends and family, for coming out. And uh, congratulations to Rick and, and Ryan for an outstanding job. Very cool. And, uh, man, get your trophy right here. Get some pictures and congratulations. It's awesome. You know, moving on over here to uh, Portland and Julie. And, Man, it's just so cool seeing it out here. And I know you guys, uh, Hydration, uh, put up some cash and uh, you got to pass it up the podium a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, Rick, what a fun time it looks like you guys are having out there. Yeah, it was a good run. Uh, I want to thank these two guys for helping me work on my car because I had a problem after qualifying, been working on it ever since. But uh, we got it out here, ran up with them, and uh, the orange car won. But look out tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. And you got some sponsors you'd like to thank? Uh, just my wife for sponsoring me. That's about it. Self-sponsored. There you go. Hydration Therapy has got to get some more uh, customers over there, get some more cars out too, right? <laughs> so I want to go ahead and uh, I uh, sponsored this for a $500 payout. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hand out $150 cash to first place right there. And, uh, and then I guess my husband gets the other. There we go. Very awesome. Thank you, Joel. One more thing. This class is an awesome class. For those that don't know, we actually started a little bit late because both of our competitors were helping us work on our cars. So I don't know any other class that does that, that uh, holds up a race to help you work on your car. So for some sportsmanship right there for class 11. Very cool. So congratulations, of course, Rick and uh, Julie Boyer. And of course, uh, man, Ryan, watching you in uh, qualifying earlier, I was like, oh boy, are they going to have an answer for this guy? He looks so quick. Obviously, up on top of the box for a reason. Yeah, man, it was a it was an awesome race. Track was a little wet, a few corners. Uh, got the best of me. Almost slid into the K rail once, and uh, just had to drive smart and uh, just do it when I can do it. Nice thing is it's easy to find fenders for these things now, or is it uh, getting harder with everybody swiping up the V dubs? Just keep pounding them out until they crack, or they won't won't bolt on anymore, pretty much. That's what a ball peen hammer's for, right? Exactly. Who would you like to thank for your uh, for winning the race today? I want to thank all my friends and family for coming out here and supporting me. Uh, thank Joel Moore for building an awesome motor and transmission. Uh, Doug Silcock, best front end out there. Um, Mike Meehan, helping out with some mag work. Uh, Levin Brothers Motorsports. Uh, my mom, my dad, uh, my co-driver, my girlfriend, Sydney. Um, Tim Horn for spotting for me. Uh, shoot, a whole bunch more people. Mike Cody, whole Cody family. They helped me out tons with the car. And uh, I want to thank uh, Marco from Continental Tire for coming and approaching the Class 11 guys. and. Uh, helping us out. It was pretty cool. Very cool. Got to throw it out there. It's great to have Marco or Spencer here anytime for Continental General. But a big congratulations, a big round of applause again for uh, Kerry Vandermark, Richard Rick Boyer, and Ryan Rodriguez. Mini stock. Let's go ahead and get our mini stocks up here. Anthony Cheesy, Jaden Wardrop, and uh, David Smith. Well, here we are with Anthony Cheesy, Jaden Wardrop, and David Smith, and uh, got something very special here. Uh, of course, uh, get some more horsepower, $100, right there, baby. Anthony Cheesy, third place. And, uh, man, what a fun race out there. These mini stocks always are just so awesome uh, to watch. I mean, this is truly like the workman, I call it the working man's class out there for sure. Hey, man, I mean, uh class you know it's not the easiest to handle out there I know from the stands you're like man those things are moving kind of at their own pace but trust me you get in there it's probably the most fun you'll have with clothes on and then um, <laughs> it's a lot faster when you're in the car oh, yeah. 
when you're in the car, you're getting your ass kicked, that's for sure. Um, I just got to give my hats off to these two for giving me a run, man. Tomorrow, my ball joint won't break on me, so things will be a little different. But uh, I'm glad I was able to hold on to the third there, man. Rob came, where's Rob for? He came right up on me after that spin out, and I was like, so I just saw red. I couldn't give it to him. So hats off to him for putting up a good battle with me. That's the most fun I've had on track in a long time. So, yeah. I'd like to thank the sponsors. Uh, I mean, I, I wrench all of it by myself at home. <laughs> I got General Tire over here. Uh, they're helping us out with contingency. And uh, thanks for everyone for letting us race out here, the whole gas series, continuing what we all love to do. There he is. Good over Anthony Choosy there, for third place. Moving on to Jaden Wardrip. And uh, Jade, man, what a fun race watching you guys out there. I just love this because it's like you guys could just thrash these things in one day and just literally fix them, go to a junkyard, pick a part up, and then be back on the track the next day. Yeah, that's the best thing about these things. They're cheap. They're fun to drive. Uh, I definitely wish we had more people in it. And uh, I'd like to thank all the mini sock drivers because they're such a great group of people. They're there for you if you need help. Go, like, you can go to any racer, ask for advice, and they'll, they'll give you the advice. That's very cool. Do you like to thank any sponsors that help you out? Uh, I'd like to thank my, my dad for always working on the truck, and um, I'd also like to thank ADS Shocks. Jaden Wardrip, everybody, give him a round of applause. And uh, here's Smith, awesome man, standing tall on top of the box. Is your first win? First win. Um, really rough start to last year. We broke two out of three races that we made it to, and didn't think we'd make it here yet, but we're really glad to be here. See, the perseverance pays off, right? Yeah, especially running a smaller motor than most of these guys. It's just a battle for us out there. Well, you got some people to thank for being here? Yeah, I'd like to thank Allen Eds Ontario. They've been a big help with our program and our nonprofit. General Tires really stepped up and helped us out a lot this year. My crew, my spotters, everyone that's been in part of the team welcomed us to it, and it's been a blast. Is the stereo bumping that thing or what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right on. Dave Smith, congratulations again to Anthony Chusey. Jaden Wardrip, and of course, David Smith pulling out that first win again here. Man, how, how awesome it is. I just noticed General Tire helping out Class 11s, helping out now on uh, the mini stocks. They helped me get to the race. I always love it. All right, well, let's bring out uh, Ryan and uh, Kip. Yeah, we'll do Ryan, then we'll do Kip. All right, we got the uh, mini open here, and uh, Ryan, it's so cool uh, seeing you out there and trying to chase down Kip there. It's kind of like, it's got so many cars in there, it's just kind of fun, you get to kind of weave your way through the traffic. Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I, I miss racing the mini socks with these guys banging doors, but it's fun to kind of move around a little bit and race the mini open, so a lot of fun for sure. We we'll have to get a few more out there again as the uh, Nick, you know, the season goes on. Oh yeah, absolutely. I know a couple guys are building some right now, so it'll be a blast once they're out there. The four bangers just screaming out there, so yeah, a lot of fun in the mini open class. Uh, can we put a few more of them to be out there for sure? Who would you like to thank? Uh, of course, I'd like to thank uh, Valkyrie Dynamics. Uh, the wrap is on the side. He helped with that. Uh, Mike Kajak for helping spot. Uh, Eric Jacobus, uh, my beautiful wife, uh, Aaron, the whole family, my parents that are out here. Uh, Bud's Tires, Kelly Wrap Shop, uh, Benchmark Abrasives. Awesome, and you guys for being out here putting on this awesome event. Ryan Venegas, everybody give a round of applause. Yep, and then we'll give Kip up here and to Kip. Oh, the chocolate, the de Young chocolate milk. I think that's the best part about winning. Kip's like, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> My Pro 4 is powered by de Young's dairy. <laughs> Don't worry, they wipe off and they're still shiny. Michael's uh, man, it's so great to see you coming out here always. You've helped out with the season, you know, with the series over the years. And it's a new series, new new start here. And, uh, man, you get to play with your Pro 4 still. Yeah, the Pro 4, we uh, went to fuel injection, still having a few issues out there. Uh, love it, though, big difference. And um, so Pro 2 is going to be a handful today, the big class. Um, anyways, yeah, I need to see some more Pro 4s out here so we can uh, break this class up. But. With that said, I got to thank Maximum Transmission, uh, Raceline Wheels, and all the sponsors, uh, Sunoco, Great American Short Course for making this happen and uh, having a race to go to. Right on. We appreciate you having you here, Kip, always. All right. Thanks, guys.
Welcome, Michaels, everybody, again on top of the box here in his Open V8 and that uh, awesome Pro 4. And we're going to go ahead and uh, see you. He's one more thing. I, got, I wanted to say hi to my sister, Sue, uh, back east watching. Thank you. Hi, Sue. <laughs> Great to have you watching. We love it. Get a lot of input from a lot of our people around the country. In fact, international ones. We even had England check in there. So we'll be back here with more racing here at the Great American Short Course Series. No flipping. five-star lifestyle community where you'll make lifelong friends. I mean, some of my favorite things to do are obviously building memories with the family. We get out in the side-by-sides. Of course, I like riding my dirt bike in the hills and taking off in the desert. But I mean, family time in the boat, man, you can't beat it. <laughs> 